Corbis. Hello, my name is Nupur Raj and I welcome to our YouTube channel Corbis. Today we will understand how to obtain environmental clearance for highway projects. Let's see why it's important to obtain EC for highway projects. Environmental clearance for highway projects is mandatory under the Environmental Impact Assessment EIA Notification 2006. As we know, roads and highways are being developed to improve the economic and social welfare of the people. But at the same time, it has the potential to damage the surrounding ecosystem. Environmental clearance is an approval by the government for specific road and highway construction that may cause some environmental and socio-economic damage. Identifying and assessing potential environmental impact should be integral to the project cycle. EIA in case of highway construction should be commenced early in the planning process to fully consider alternatives and avoid later delays and complications and the following points must be considered. Projects should be planned by keeping the environmental impacts in mind and to reduce these impacts and it becomes important to take environmental clearance for the projects. A highway authority should have a designated staff member responsible for the environmental matters and knowledge of environmental laws and regulations. Now the following acts and rules must be considered while considering EC for highway projects. So first is EIA notification 2006, next is Water Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act, next is the National Tribunal Act 2010, next is the Environmental Protection Act 1986 amended in 1991, next is Wildlife Clearance as per Wildlife Protection Act 1972, next is CRZ Coastal Regulation Zone Rules. Now let's understand the permissions required to start a highway project include the conversion of land use from the state revenue department for setting up camps and plants. Second is forest clearance as per Forest Conservation Act 1980. Next is permission for felling of trees from forest department's district authorities. Then the NOC under the hazardous and other waste management transboundary movement rules 2016 must be obtained. Next is NOC for water extraction for construction and allied works from the irrigational departments. Traffic management plan before the start of the construction. Eighth is emergency action plan for accidents responding to involving fuel and lubricants before the construction starts. Ninth is RNR action plans. Tenth is clearance from NHAI. Now we will have a look on what documents required for obtaining EC for the highway project. First is application form, second is project report, third is EIA report, fourth is environmental management plan, fifth is consent from state pollution control board, sixth is NOCs from local authorities, seventh is public hearing report. So let's see the process for environmental clearance for highway projects. Environmental clearance for highway projects listed in the item number 7F in the Schedule 1 of the EIA Notification 2006, which is categorized as follows. Number 1 is Category A, New Expansion of National Highways greater than 30 km, also involves right of way of more than 20 m involving an acquisition and passing through more than one state. Uh, number 2 is Category B, New and Expansion of State Highway Projects in Hilly Terrain above 1000 meter AMSL and ecologically sensitive areas. Point should be kept in mind in case of expansion of national highways more than 100 kilometers involves additional right of way more than 40 meters of existing alignments and 60 meters on realignments or bypasses require EC. And central government doesn't require prior environmental clearance or forest clearance under the laws before a stretch as national highway and its intention to acquire land for building maintenance or to operate such roads. Now we will have a look on the stages for obtaining EC. So first stage is screening. In case of category B projects or activities, the scrutiny of an application for prior environmental clearance is made in Form 1 by state level appraisal committee to check whether the project requires further environmental impact assessment reporting or not. Second is scoping. In this process, EAC will take part for category A project 
and SEAC will take part for category B1 projects including for applications for expansion or modernization to give detailed and comprehensive term of reference addressing all relevant in environmental concerns for preparing EIA report the concerned authority will determine the tor based on information given in the prescribed application form 1 site visit by a sub group of eac or seac would be conducted third is public consultation is a process by which view of local affected persons have been taken after completion of the public consultation the applicant shall address all the environmental concerns expressed during the public consultation and make appropriate changes in the draft eia and em fourth is appraisal the eac or seac scrutinizes the application and other documents outcome of the public consultations including public hearing proceedings is submitted by the applicants to the regulatory authority concerned for the grant of ec and the validity of environmental clearance for highway project is for 7 years so if you are looking for the assistance of certified consultants that can help you with this report or certificate you can connect with our experts at corbis with the details given below we help our clients with all environmental compliances related to their projects please like and share if you found this information useful you can also subscribe to our channel and visit our website thank you for watching